what you're looking for. And believe it or not, that's unfiltered. That's just straight out of a restaurant bin. This is what's out there. Do not settle for something like this. If this is what you find at the first place, keep driving. You will find it like this. And once you get an eye for it and find it, there's no doubt in anybody's mind that that doesn't need a lot of filtering. We'll run it through that just out of a matter of principle. But this isn't going to clog up filters because there's nothing in there except pure oil. So this is what we call, this is the one that I use in my excursion all the time. So this one's seen quite a bit of loving. But uh, they've got wheels on them and little handles and all kinds of nice stuff. But it allows you to gather and filter oil on the road. As you, like I said, I use this thing all the time. This is what I use exclusively for my excursion. And if I can untangle my hoses here. We take this hose right here. It's got a suction filter on the end. That's for the big chunks. That's for the grass and, and the small mammals and everything else. <laughs> and uh, that little pump is sucking oil through that filter element. And as it you know, goes through there, it's cleaning it. And these filter elements are the same elements that you'll see on a lot of these conversions we have. And that's one of the nice things that it uses the same uh, filter element. And so they're really easy to change. In fact, this one, uh, I've filtered probably about 100 gallons of oil through here, and it was slowing down a little bit. So I'm going to take it out. How much filter? Which one do you want? Uh, Filters are about uh, 15 bucks a piece. You know, if you buy them by the case, they get a little bit cheaper. Now I got the gasket here. That's important. And see if I can get my fingers down in there. Now this filter element really isn't that dirty. Now come if you can look close. Do you see the little silt and stuff that's kind of flowing out of the, the seams there? You can kind of see this little dirty. That color looks pretty good. It's actually not that bad. I probably don't need to change it, but we'll just save, for the save sake. it and I'll use it in mine. <laughs> <laughs> now come here and take a look here, though. In the pleats here, you can see where the debris and the dirt were starting to gather. Okay? If I take my fingernail and I run it up there, you can see that there's some, that's what we call the fine silt and the real uh, fine debris that will clog up the filter, and, you know. This filter's not super dirty, but you can see the discoloration from the uh, debris inside there. So it was starting to clog up a little bit. Now this filter here, the blue top one, it's a 10 micron filter. There's a lot of theory and debate whether or not you should use a 10 micron filter or a 2 micron filter. And <laughs> you're not wearing a bikini. This isn't, this isn't working. My assistant needs to be. <laughs> But uh, 10 micron filter is going to let a little more oil pass through. It's not going to get it as clean as the two on the first run. But the reality is when I talked to the Raycor rep, I said, you know, besides six points, six microns, what's the real difference? And he says there's not a whole lot of difference between the two and the 10. But in theory, you are going to get a finer filter on the two micron, and it's going to save your onboard filters quite a bit. And because this filter media is designed specifically for fuels. Uh, it's got a uh, aqua block chemical treatment on the paper here. And what that does is if it starts to get water, small little droplets of water, it'll just repel it and the water will end up in the, the uh, settling bowl. But if you stick that hose down and you're pumping nothing but water, that filter media will swell up and pretty much stop anything from going through there. Now, it's not magic. If you're pumping straight water and really trying hard, you can get a little pass through, but for the most part, it's not going to, uh, it's not going to let any water through. I'm getting upstaged up here by Jerry by tuning uh, up the BMW. So this is, uh, we're going to go ahead and put a two micron filter in here. And there again, it's probably going to slow down its flow a little quicker than the 10 micron, but by golly, we're going to be getting super clean oil into that vehicle. And like I said last night, no filter media is 100%. These are pretty dang good, but there's always just a little something that'll get through, and that's why we have successive filters on the vehicle. 
So we'll just set this thing in here. But you use this on the road, but do you recommend the... I use it on the road and here. But I, do you recommend the other way where you know, these guys are letting it set for three to four weeks? But what would you recommend? Would you recommend the settling? Settling and this. And, yeah. The, the biggest thing is that the longer you let it settle, the longer these elements are going to last. All right, do we have anybody want to bring their vehicle down and let's squirt a few gallons of oil in there? Come on, nobody wants yeah, free well. fuel. Okay. All right, come on, Dave. That's good, Dave. Fill her up. Well, I ain't going to fill her up. There won't be any left for anybody else. Now. So what we're going to do here is we're going to flip this on, and Dave, just hold it up so folks can see what's coming out there. starting to suck the oil up and you'll hear that pump when it grabs because that filter was fairly empty. Now look at the clarity of that oil. That is gorgeous. Liquid gold. And so it's been through a two micron filter and so we can be very confident because this is the same make that's on this vehicle right here that it's not going to clog that sucker up because it's already been through one. There again, the whole theory of pre-filtering is get it clean before it goes in the tank. If we were at a restaurant, and you know, we could just as easily be at a restaurant, this is what we'd be doing. And you can just sit there and count off the dollars every 20 seconds, it's another buck in your pocket. Yeah, How many gallons per minute is that? These, uh, the pumps are rated at about three and a half, and by the time you suck through the filter, you're getting at about two gallons a minute. Don't quit now. Well, we got <laughs> a bunch of other diesels here, man. <laughs> just think, I just pumped probably $20 worth in there. What I found is a little uh, lawn and garden tractor battery from Walmart. You can palm them in one hand, they're fairly light. And I just uh, carry one of those with me. And that way, whether I'm at home or whatever, I don't have to pop the hood or worry about a wire. So, we've got several loads. We've got one that you can put in your bag and walk in there. But we've also got them to screw right into the top of there. And you can actually see it in your rear view mirror. Ready? Yeah. So, you know, this pump isn't ridiculously fast. but you know, at two gallons a minute, that's that's six bucks a minute. You know, and I don't know what the rest of you do for a living, but I sure as heck don't make six bucks a minute, so this is well worth my time to sit there and let it do its job. Yeah.